Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the count ifs function in conjunction with a validity list and named ranges. So first of all, this is a completed example. I've got a named range in the green called post name and in the blue called company. And then in this yellow cell, I have the formula. Now, at the top there, it says IT support manager, and there is a validity list. If I drop that down, you can see I've got a list and I can select different items from that list. And then the count if function is in the count if function is in the yellow cell and you can see it at the top there. So what I want to do is basically just recreate this from scratch and show you how I did it. So let's just copy the copy the titles so come down here out of the way a bit copy the titles there paste now what I need now is a validity list under post name and one under company now that is on the data tab so I'm already on the data tab and it's on the right here validity now the options I want are in this list but they're not in any particular order so what I'm going to do just for this little exercise is just copy and paste the the, the list that I want and just stick it down here so I want a branch manager, I copy that one, I want that one, just paste that one in there. IT support manager, copy and paste that down there. Now there's different ways of doing this, I don't actually have to do it like this, but it's okay for now. So these are all the options, paste that one and then the last one is a secretary, copy. Now normally you'd have this as a name list on a different sheet. Um, but you can see how it's going to work. So that's my first list. Now companies, I need to do the same for companies. I'll just copy copy the company and paste it down here. B Brown, Ready Go, copy. And Mortgage Network, copy, paste. And Brian Green, copy, paste. And Interstate, copy, paste. Now, underneath each of these, if I just colour this area in, let's just go back to home to get myself a little colour. Go for orange colour. A bit loud, but never mind. Let's do the validity list in there. So over to validity, what you need to do is select a cell range. So if he's going to do a list, I could have typed it in there. I could have typed this in there. Um, or I could have done a named range and put it on a different sheet and then done it like that. But I'm going to do a cell range and then it gives you the option to select the list, which is those. That's my list. I'm not going to bother with the input message or the error alert, but you've got those options there as well. If I click OK, just check that that's picking up the list, which it is. And I'll do the same for the next one. Onto that, select cell range. Select the range, which in this case is this little blue area. Come back up, click OK, and then check it's there. So now that's there, we've got the two lists. What I need to do now is the count if function. In fact, I just need it under this one. I'll just change the colour on that again. I'll just go back to home and change that. Oh, I'll make it a different colour. Let's go light green. So in there, I want the count if function to tell me when I select an item from here, so let's select branch manager and do the same as the one above, bead brown. So I'm expecting that to say two, because that's what that one's saying. So if I go equals count ifs with an S, and then open the bracket, oops, do it again, equals count ifs, open bracket, so what I need to now look at is coming up with the range one. So basically I've named these post name. So count if post name is equal to that there. So post name is what I'm going to type. Post underscore name, comma, and then the criteria, criteria one is where I'm at, is that cell there, comma, and then the company, this blue area is called company, so company, comma, 
is equal to what says in there. In this case, Pete Brown. So, post name, count ifs, post name is equal to branch manager and company is equal to Bead Brown. I'm saying the word equal to, obviously it's not saying that there, it's just the actual comma. And at the end of that, close the bracket, click the tick or press enter, whichever you want to do, and it says two. And then this is a dynamic list. So if I select some other IT support manager, there's one in Bead Brown. If I go ready go, there's two in ready go. And that's basically just a very simple explanation of how you can use the count ifs function with named lists, named ranges and valid validity lists. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.